Well, good morning, people. This is Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. Got a couple things to cover this morning. If you paid attention to some of our last videos, I did a uh, ammo can propane heater, and I've also done a paraffin centronella wax container fire pit. So uh, I'm gonna cover some of that, and also a neat lighter that my wife picked up, and we're gonna talk about that lighter too. USB rechargeable, so it's pretty cool. So let's turn this camera around and get on with it. Okay, this is my ammo can propane heater that I built. This is my paraffin wax centronella fire pit, container fire pit that I built. And this is my Coleman stove, my coffee, what I use to make coffee. But this is my lighter that the wife picked up. And we're going to see if it will light the propane stove, the paraffin wax fire pit, and the propane stove fire pit. Now, in my other video, I uh, tested this stove here, and it works great, but I didn't really go over the build. And it is the bigger ammo can. Uh, I think it's like 18 inches long, uh, 10 inches, 9, 10 inches tall, or thereabouts, I don't know. I don't remember what caliper it is. And painted it with high temperature heat put a thermostat in it put a little graphic on there drilled some hose so light will kind of flicker through the eyes and the nose and this valve and hose goes to a burner that came out of a turkey fryer let's open this box up so you open both handles and the whole lid comes off. And notice on this lid, there's little edges on each corner. So you can set this on top of this. And that will get it about two inches off the ground. Inside, there is a shelf. Under the shelf is the burner and these lava rocks. So I'm gonna take these lava rock out so I can show you my shelf and the burner. Okay, this is the shelf I put in here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out without removing my thermostat. So let me remove that and then we'll get back to showing you the burner. Okay, this is the shelf. It was just part of a piece of something I had laying around. And it works fine once it's in there other than right now I'll probably never take it out again and then there's the burner turkey fire burner and it's bolted to this bracket here and then I just welded tack welded that bracket into the bottom of the can now if you notice I cut the hole on this end too big I really didn't have the right tool to do it uh, so I took another piece of metal or actually two pieces of metal two pieces of metal and it skews my weld job but anyway a flux core welder and I just welded two pieces with half moon shapes cut in to fit around the burner here and my this still spins so you can adjust airflow. It's hard to do with one hand, but it's got a spring that keeps pressure on it. But you can still adjust how much air goes through there. I am gonna change this 90 degree out and put a, a straight adapter in here so this hose will come out straight away from the can right here. But with the thickness of this metal, I don't think it's gonna get all that hot right there. 
but just to be safe I want to bring it away from the, the can and like I said that may not be that pretty but hey it works that's in there it's not going nowhere and I have a propane stove fire pit okay so you got the ammo can propane fire pit over here and I've got it hooked up to propane and then this is the paraffin wax centronella container fire pit and you can see we we've, we've been burning it it's probably got an hour of burn time on it and I was just trying to get my cardboard level with the rim so I could put this lid over it and it still could go down a little bit more and uh, as you can see in there the wax level didn't burn down hardly any and what you do to adjust the flame height the more cardboard that's above the wax the higher your flame is going to be if you want a shorter flame drop you a block of wax in here and let it melt and fill up as it's burning and it will be less cardboard on top and as this dries you can see like right here there's a crack in between the cardboard and the wax when I light this this next time I'm gonna go ahead and put another block of wax right here and let it melt down and refill all that uh, because we are fixing to do a camping trip and we'll be enjoying our fire pits we're trying them out getting a little bit of heat off of them because it's getting cool at night now and uh, maybe not to a lot of people but cold weather does not work well with me anyway we'll be trying these out and sharing how they do with y'all but this is the paraffin wax centronella container fire pit with cardboard strips put all in here and i went four thickness on these skinny strips and it's working great now the next thing to do is to see if our new lighter will light these so uh, this is a Rayner candle lighter so let me put you on a tripod and let's see if this will light these You can get these in different colors. Can I get that to focus on that? It's not want to. That's what one side looks like. You have an on off slide, slide switch right here. And then there is, when you turn it on, watch the end, you push, slide it up. You see the three lights come on. We're fully charged, it has a USB that you plug in and charge it. And then it's got this fork at the end. And when you push this button that's right here, Can you see it light up? There we go. Finally adjusted. There's your slide switch power to light it. Now it's not wanting to focus again. There we go. So let me turn the gas on. And let's see if it'll light like this. It may blow up in my face. What do you think? I hear gas coming out of there. I've got the pin on, and I'm just going to be ready to jump back. And there it is. I 
power pit's going. A little chilly out here this morning. That actually feels good. Now let's move over to the paraffin wax. Centronella power pit and see if I can get it lit. There you go. I'm not even going to try to light the uh, Coleman stove because if it'll light that, it'll light the Coleman stove. And then when you're done with the lighter, you just slide this back. It hides your button so it can't accidentally be pushed. It pushes the fork into the pin or the container, whatever you want to call this. Something that you can keep in your vehicle. And I wouldn't think the sun would do a whole lot to it. Or the heat. But as you can see, it did what it's supposed to do. As you can see, I just do a block of wax on that one over there to get a little more wax in there. I'm going to try to fill it up pretty good. That way we can have burn time all weekend with it. And like I said, we're fixing to try these out at camp. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It sure helps us out a lot. And share our content so we can get this out there to other people. Hopefully there's content on our channel that will help other folks.